First of all, I just want to say my amazing daughter, I've been so proud of you your whole life, so proud of you, always been proud of all the choices you make. I know having girlfriends that have children that would date and have relationships, they're like, don't get attached because sometimes they break up. And as Evan was around our family, I was like, oh, I'm getting attached. I'm getting attached. <laughs> uh, I hope you'll be with us forever. And I am just, we love Evan. We welcome you to our family. Cheers to the joining of our families. I met Christina like every 18-year-old freshman in college does at Butler Catholic Mass. <laughs> Our parents would be proud. Um, and when I was told I was doing this speech, I went to go figure out when the first time I met Evan was, but I found a text from December 16th, 2016 from Evan Salath. And it says, hey, buying gifts for Tina, so shh, but I need your help on some terminology. Are you guys in school to be pharmacists or pharmacy technicians or pharmacy assistants or what? Sorry, I need to know. The fondest moments I have with Christina and Evan are studying together in the pharmacy basement. We had a lot of late nights together studying um, and Evan never left Christina's side. It's been wonderful to see you guys so natural with each other, so organic and so in love. Never did I think anyone could ever be good enough for Christina until Evan showed me that he was different and essentially Mr. Thomas. <laughs> then I knew he was a keeper. They say if you've been friends for at least 10 years, you'll be friends forever. If that's true, then I've truly won the jackpot. It's been an honor to stand by this girl's side today and for the last 13 plus years. You know you've got a good friend when they surround themselves with good people. Not only has she found Evan, but she has the sweetest family, the best in-laws, and the most amazing friends. These people are a reflection of how incredible Christina and Evan are individually and as a couple. We met in the mid-90s. Uh, my parents describe it kind of as a occasion of fire and ice. Uh, I was very excited to go to the hospital to meet him, bumping all around, being able to speak the goo goo gaga with another small human. Um, but they tell me when we got back to the car, and I realized this wasn't a visitation operation, but more of a grab and go, um, Chicago's largest tantrum on the Upper East Side, or the, the North Side was had that day. When you meet Christina, she, she brightens the room. She's so joyful, so loving, so caring. And of course, we love you so much. And I remembered I posted this video and I said the word joy. So the other day, as I was watching, I'm trying to find this video, I searched under my posts the word joy. And you know what? There's so many posts that I have with Christina and the word joy. So just to Christina, we're so proud of you and the woman that you've come. Oh, you look so beautiful. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. Can I get her a little hug? <laughs> Love you. Love you too. You've seen the dress before. This is, does it look different? Uh, yeah, it looks completely different. <laughs> Today you both have come because the Lord has given you a gift, each other. And the love that we heard about in the gospel, that is the gift you are to give to each other every moment of your lives. Wherever you want to go, whatever dream you want to fulfill, you go where you want. You get that wonderful job that you want, and I'll follow you wherever.
I, Evan, take you, Christina, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you. To love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Christina, take you, Evan, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you. To love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Christina, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Evan, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And now it is my privilege and honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Evan Salat. I've known Christina since we were nine years old when she moved here from Texas. And we became friends right away. Um, but let me tell you, 17 years ago, I had no idea how much this girl was truly going to change my life. As I have gotten to know Evan better over the years, I can see why Christina chose this man to be her husband. Evan, you are kind, patient, honest, supportive, hilarious, and always put Christina, your now wife, first. I couldn't be happier for the two of you. Christina and I have literally talked about this day for about 17 years now, and I cannot believe it is officially here. I will never forget the first time I met Christina. Evan and Christina have been together for exactly one month. And being this unofficial younger brother in the Salath family, I had to do my role to protect our herd. It was time for me to make sure that Christina was the right fit for Evan. So as soon as they came over, Christina sat down and the questions began. What is your full legal name? Have you com ever committed any crimes? Do you have any traffic violations? Honestly, most of her answers were pretty lame. She's a really good kid. <laughs> As we stand here today, all of us, in front of the newlyweds, I think that this interview process is proof that asking questions like this early in the relationship is important. It's proof that these two are very compatible for each other and that together they will build a life they both love. Okay. Be shy, let's get busy, girl. Get busy, girl. You see my pearls, they shine. shine. They glitter, girl. Uh. Don't paint on mine, cause you fly. So fly. You kill it, girl. You kill it, uh. girl. Just you and I, let's ride, let's ride. Tonight. tonight. I might be the one to blow your mind. Uh. Let me be your favorite time. This our chance Do my heart accelerate Every time I play Every time I play You hyperventilate And got me in a trance Although we never made it onto the Ellen Show, in hopes of meeting our One Direction husbands, I think you found a pretty great one. And amongst all of the One Direction and Justin Bieber concerts that we were able to attend together, 
I have been waiting to say from the wise words of Justin Bieber, cheers everyone to one less lonely girl. Give me the <laughs>